Hey guys, Phantom Seton Lex18 here with another video, and today we're gonna review the Iron Giant uh, figure or whatever it's called. Now I picked this figure up at Walmart, and he was for for twenty dollars. I gotta say, a figure that huge and with that um, amount of like you know special features it does, I see it's worth it. But unfortunately, as you can see, he's not like shiny silver or painted silver. But I'm okay with that. So yeah, anyways, let's take a look at the box before we get to the figure. And here we have the packaging, or the box that came with it. Obviously in the middle, uh, that's where the figure comes from. And the figure was placed in there. And don't worry, um, the figure, when it falls down, it won't get scratched. I checked mine, mine has no scratches and stuff like that. So yeah, anyways, that's the front of the box. As you can see, this is uh, requires four, four AA batteries. Which, they are included, that's what it says, they're included. But if they ran out of battery, then you're gonna have to go get some yourself. So anyways, here's the uh, Warner Bros. Iron Giant. Light, sound, walking, iron giant. Monitorize, walking, motion, light up, eyes and sounds, movable arm. Yay. And yeah, I like the forest, the background. Because I feel like that's like a scene from a movie, because once we get to the back of the packaging, you'll understand why. So yeah, uh, here's the Iron Giant again, stuff like that, movable arm, and here we have this other side of the box, which shows the other features that the figure does. So yeah, and here's the back, the Iron Giant, and yeah, the same thing as this side of the box, and look at that, there he is, just nodding, or not nodding, um, leaning his head, yeah. So yeah, anyways, and here's a little bio, or a brief bio about the movie, or the, like, you know, and stuff like that. Pause that if you want to read that. So yeah, done. Anyways. So yeah, that's the packaging. Now the top of the packaging, um, just, um, Iron Giant. And the bottom, just batteries where it's located and things and stuff. So yeah. Now here we have the Iron Giant. And before I get to this review, I gotta say this. The Iron Giant was my childhood. Like, I before I liked Transformers, before I liked Japanese mechas, before I liked Power Rangers, Iron Giant was the first robot that I ever grew in love with. No homo, but, uh, but still, but still. Um, I was really excited when he appeared in Ready Player One. But unfortunately, he didn't last long. So yeah, anyways. So yeah, here's the Iron Giant. Now, I got this figure because, again, Iron Giant was my childhood and stuff like that. And I gotta say is, this figure, or this action figure, whatever you call those figures with those type of electronics and stuff, it's really good for the most part. Now, now I'm gonna show you all the details. Now let's zoom in. Sorry if you see the background because this figure is really, really, really huge. Okay, now hang on. There you go. Look at all that detailing. Well, it's not that many. It's kind of like animated, animated accurate wise. And his big shoes. Hang on. Come on, work with me. There you go. So yeah, that's the front. That come on. Sorry, the background again shows. Here is the sides. And I don't need to show you what the other side looks like. I mean, it's the same thing as the other side. Now here is the back, and here where you can see the um, the switch and the electronics and the speaker where it's coming from. And his legs has still it's been sculpted really well. Now let's see what this. Now let's check out the articulation. Now the only thing that you can move is just the arms. They can go like this much and this much they're on a ratchet joint so that's good now the arm can bend look and you can also uh, there's also um arm swivel or something like that on the thigh swivel um yeah you can move it like this 
And the hand can also have articulation. It can move to 360 degrees. So yeah, the same thing for the other arm. And another articulation, uh, you can move the head, but I'm not sure if you're supposed to move the legs, mainly because it's a walking feature. And again, it's on a ratchet joint, but honestly, I'm not going to move the legs anymore, mainly because and whenever I try to turn it on to like, you know, make it move, it doesn't for a little bit, then it does. So what can this, uh, oh yeah, there's no um, head, head articulation, nope. Now what can this figure do? Um, I know you see a, a water bottle on the side, mainly because I'm trying to hold the, the back, the backdrop. So yeah, what can this figure do? So yeah, um, there, keep in mind, there are two modes. There's no off switch. Here is the full on, here we go. Here's the full on mode where you can like activate the special feature and such. This is like try me mode. So what does try me mode do? Hang on, once I get the camera in focus. There you go. So okay, let's check out try me mode. He says I'm Superman. Ah, I remember that scene. I better since I'm a clay artist, I'm I might I might as well just give him that um the S that he had in the in the chest to pretend he's Superman. What is the other sound? And that's it. Those are the only two sounds. If you try to press and hold, no sound. Even if you open the chest, which I'm not sure this counts as an this counts as an articulation, but eh, you can't do anything with this button. Nope. Now let's turn it on completely, and there's no activation sounds, unfortunately. So what can this one do? Oh yeah. Let's test out the walking mode. All right. Metal man, that way. Oh gosh. Hang on. All right, I got it fixed. Now let's see his moving moving feature. Look at that. Oh god, he's gonna fall off. So yeah, he keeps on moving. Oh, it's a good thing I catch him right there. Hang on. Let me just reposition the legs a bit. Okay, there. Okay, there. Yeah, that's one of his features, which is amazing and phenomenal. So, yeah. What is his other feature? Just, you open up the chest. I really hope they release another Iron Giant figure. Just to give him his um battle mode, or his berserk mode, or whatever you call that. When he, like, you know... Eventually gets angry and his eyes turn red, which he's about to do right here. And that's it. There's no other sounds. Now, I say I'd rather have like other sounds on it, or I don't know, other sounds pretty much. That was my review of the Iron Giant, the giant movable figure that can like, you know, make lights and sounds. So what do I think about this figure overall? Overall, I really think it's really good. And especially and since it's for $20, I say go for it. If you're a huge Iron, Gi Iron Giant fan like me, and to this day, when I was a little kid, I really wanted them to make a sequel or... A live action movie eventually, but unfortunately that never happened. But hey, at least we got him in Ready Player One, or this figure now. Now you can only get this figure at Walmart, and for Walmart, nah, I say there was like two other copies or one copy left, or I don't know, I'm not sure. So pretty much go for it. I really hope that they make another Iron Giant figure that can like turn into as a berserk or alien attacking mode. You know what I mean. Yeah, so this figure, very good, very good, but paint-wise, I wish he was a bit like a dark gray or silver or light plastic, I mean, this is kind of light, 
But I mean like silverish plastic, something like that. If you know what I mean. But hey, I'm not too complaining too much. But the figure is really good overall. So anyways guys, hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss anything on my or any uploads. So yeah. And follow me on uh, Twitter and Instagram. If I get more followers on Twitter, I might post more artwork there or stuff like that. So you know what I mean. And for Instagram, eh, follow me if you want to like, you know, see me posting random stuff. Random. Eh. So yeah, guys. Hope you guys like this video. Like and peace. No, 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 no. I'm not doing that.